Hi everybody, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to take you through a tutorial on how to start your first Spideo Play broadcast. I'll go through the steps you need to take before starting your broadcast, and then everything you need to do when creating your broadcast. At this point, you should have already talked to your customer success manager about creating your Spideo Play account, and you should have been added to your Spideo Play account. You should also have the user role of either an admin or scheduler. And if you don't know what your role is, we'll go through that in a moment. So if you've met all these requirements, we can get started. Please first navigate to play.spideo.com. This is the Spideo Play web app. It'll look something similar to this as you see on screen. And we're gonna to come to the left-hand column and down to members. To check our role, find your user and see your role on the right hand column. I'm an admin and you need to be an admin or a scheduler to be able to schedule a Spideo Play broadcast. Once we've done this, we can move on to starting our first Spideo Play broadcast. To do so, in the left hand column, come up to broadcasts and then click add new broadcast. The first step you need to do is to choose your teams. If you're coming into this for the first time, you'll need to create the teams. So to do so, come to the search option here click and then create team. You need to name your team. You need to select a team code. This is what is shown in the score bug to identify the team. You can choose the jersey colors. Home will choose blue. And for away, we can stay with white. And then you can add a team logo if you wish via this button here. Once you're happy with this team, click save. You can see it's now populated as the chosen team for the home team and then we can choose an away team. For this example, I'll use Crown City. You can see a logo we have uploaded here for Crown City and Crown City's team code as CRO. Once you're happy with these options, we can click continue. Step two is setting your event details. There's a lot of required information here, so we'll go through all the options. First, you need to set a description for the match. This gives viewers an indication on what type of match they're going to be watching. So for an example, I'll put under 21's men's practice match. Next, select your arena. All scenes attached to your Spideo Play account will be listed in this dropdown, and I'll choose Spideo Arena. Then you can choose the sport that's being played in this match. You will often only have one option here in the dropdown, but if you are selecting an arena where two sports can be played, such as a court for basketball or volleyball, you need to specify which type of sport is being played in this broadcast. For the purpose of this example, we're playing football, so I'll choose football. Next, move on to setting the date and start time of the game. You can change the date via the calendar here. And then you can set the kickoff time of the match via this time dropdown. This time is local to your device you are scheduling on. So if the arena and match are being played in another time zone, you will need to adjust accordingly. I will change this time to kick off at 12 midday. And you can see the end time has automatically adjusted here. This is due to the broadcast length slider at the bottom. This is the total length of your broadcast. With this slider, you need to adjust for any half time or any stoppages that you might have. So you maybe need to set a little bit over the total length of the sporting match. You can adjust via dragging forward and back, and we will keep this at 150 minutes. Finally, you can adjust this slider here. This slider indicates how much time before the kickoff time that you've set up here you wish the broadcast to start for your viewers. This is not a requirement for your Spideo Play broadcast, but you could want the live stream to start early so that a commentary team can introduce the game. Also, you can show overlay graphics for lineups or the league ladder. For this broadcast, we'll set so it starts 10 minutes early, and you can now see that the start time for the live stream is 11.50. Once we're happy with these options, we can click continue. The third option is setting your streaming option. This is something you will have already talked to your customer success manager about. The two options here are either our internal dedicated Spideo player or an external video service, such as an OTT platform. 
I'll only go through this video player today. So if you wish to learn more about this, you can search in our help center or speak more to your customer success manager. Selecting this video player and then click continue. The next step is setting the pricing for your match. And this is something you would have also already talked to your customer success manager about. Adjust the customer price per view via the slider here, or toggle whether you wish for this broadcast to be free for viewers. By doing so, you also need to acknowledge that you understand each viewer will incur you a cost as li listed here. For this demonstration, we'll select pay per view at 550 euros. We can then click continue for the final step. Step five is selecting your sponsors for your broadcast. Sponsors are something you will have already created at this point via the sponsors tab on the left here. You can select up to a total of three sponsors for your broadcast and to do so simply toggle here. If you wish for these sponsors to be shown automatically by our system so that you do not have to do it manually, you can toggle that option on via this but we're going to keep that off and then we're going to click create broadcast. The system polls your request and once finished, we'll take you to this page here. This is our broadcast monitoring page. There's a lot of information here that we're not going to go through in today's video, but if you do want to learn more, you can access our help center via the question mark in the bottom right and search broadcast monitoring. There's a great article there that can answer a lot of your questions. Your broadcast will be contained within the broadcast tab in the top left. You can see it here under the live and upcoming dropdown, and we can see that a broadcast is set to start on November 15th at 11.50 a.m. between example team at Crown City team at Spidio Arena. The description is an under 21s men's practice match. The cost per viewer is 550 euros, and there's been no purchases yet. So that's the end of the tutorial. If you have further questions or you would like to speak to a support agent, you can find our help center in the bottom right hand corner here, and you should contact support via this option here. Thank you so much for watching.